Hello, Havocs. My name is Crystal, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Loptastic game that we had on Saturday, November 25th, against North Dakota State University. First of all, we'll start off by telling on myself. I actually recorded this video earlier this morning and then realized while putting it aside for a little bit that I kept calling the other school South Dakota. So as a result, I get to do this again. I like talking about it anyway, so it's okay. Um, any rate, Saturday, November 25th, we played North Dakota State University. And yes, while the game was loptastic, it was also loptastically stressful. Okay, now, now you, you basketball people, you, you play athletes, players, trainers, coaches, all of you, do you guys just sit around, you know, and, and think of new and interesting ways to stress me out? Okay, this is, this is about me here. I get these gray hairs by watching you guys, you know, get really, you know, miss a lot of shots and things like that. And then all of a sudden become heroic and win the game. Because that's what happened. All right. I'd rather you not do that. I'd rather it not have any more um, flashbacks of uh, how when we played and could have lost but ended up winning against Montana State last year. It was This game was similar. It kind of had a bigger end because you guys figured it out a little bit faster on this one, but it was very stressful just the same. Okay, so the way it started, first of all, I also want to shout out to the um, people who set up these games, particularly when students are on break, because we still had people in the stands. We had kids and alumni and and various, you know, people around the community and we still had a full house. So, shout out to the um the stand in havocs that were there. Y'all were loptastic just being there. You know, the the like I said the little kids and 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 the grandmas and alumni. That, that it was just nice to see a full house regardless. So, I wanted to say that first. Um it just sent, you know, it was, it was, it was, that part was fantastic as always. So, but the game started kind of normal, you know, um, went back and forth a little bit. Um, and then, uh, you know, we had a lead for a moment and then they got a, a little lead, you know, so like three points. You're like, okay, just, it's just three. That's, it's early. We can do that. And then it got to like six points and I'm like, <laughs> that's not good either. And then, you know, it was like, it was like rising, rising, rising. And. I get really nervous when you guys do that. I really wish you wouldn't because it also reveals how wimpy of a fan I am because eventually we were down by 12 points in the first half and I couldn't handle any longer. So I turned off my volume, walked away from my computer and turned on some Christmas music and did some house cleaning for like about 10 minutes or so. Um, apparently during that time, it did get a little bit worse um, it went as low as much as a 13 point drop, which I'm glad I didn't see that, but you know, it, that did happen. But by the time I came back, um, you guys were starting, GC was starting to get some momentum back to kind of, you know, find themselves again. It, it, it was, it was coming along, you know, so when it was all said and done, we were only down by five. The halftime score was, uh, GCU had 35 and North Dakota State had 40. Um, so that was good, but I was I was like, still, we're not in the lead yet, and we could lose it again if we're not careful. Uh, we, we can go back down again. So anyway, halftime, I was still, I kind of still went away because I was still recovering from stress. And then I came back um, slow, you know, a little slowly, and when the, we came back again, and I discovered that you guys, you know, you, you figured it out. Actually, you figured it out before um, first half was over, and then you kept that momentum going. And you know, things are happening. You know, you know, um, my, you know everything from from Gabe McLaughlin to get it hitting two back to back threes. 
you know, um, you know, Tyon Grant Foster was just hitting it on all cylinders. Uh, Ray Harrison was just being his phenomenal self, you know, things like that. I mean, just a lot of things were hitting little by little. And then the next thing you know, we we're up by a point. It was GCU had 44 and North Dakota State had 43. I was like, okay, that's good. It's nice to see that. Let's let's keep it going in that direction because there was still time on the clock and that could change. So um, North Dakota did not get the lead back. They came close. We would we would pull away by as much as five or six, and then they would get as close as two. And it was doing that for a while. And then finally, I think around the three minute mark to the end of the second half, um, is when things finally, I mean, really got going. And next thing you know, I look up. And we're up by 10. Um, GCU had 78 and North Dakota State had 68. I was like, okay, this is good. That so I get, can't get comfortable. That's that's good. That's really, really good. Um, and it kept going. You know, I, I also want to give a special shout out to Sidney Curry. This man is a beast of a man. And he was only off the bench for 13 minutes, but in that time. He got a his, he got a double double, you know, and I mean that's that's efficient, you know, Mr. Curry, good job, sir, you know, it, go buy a big ticket, I would buy your ticket anytime. That was awesome, that was really good. So that happened, and then you know, um, I mean, we were making our free throws, which I'm really glad we're still doing that. Otherwise, it would have been disastrous. Um, that, that was happening and it and by the time it was done, as far as that half was concerned, we helped score them by 20 points. The final score, GCU had 86 points and North Dakota State had 71 points. We won by 15. At one point they were up by 13, but we ended up winning by 15. That's amazing. That is loptastic. I was really glad to see that happen and and see us, you know, do well that way. Um, you know, other notables uh, that I that I want to give a special shout out to, Duke Brennan had a wonderful game. I can't remember how many points he got, but he was amazing. Um, Isaiah Shaw. Okay, two things about Isaiah Shaw. One, he had a great game. I want to say he got seven points. I'll check that out later, or you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But... Um, he got, um, he did a little um, post-game interview with uh, uh, Kate Lundgren. I want to say Lundgren. Why does that name sound wrong? I'll correct it. Forgive me. I surely should know this. Uh, Kate Longworth. Whew. Yes, Kate Longworth. And she asked about the adversity that was going on, you know, how it was a rough start. And Isaiah Shaw was saying, well, you know, what's a game without a little adversity? What's life without a little adversity? We all like adversity. Um, Mr. Shaw, no, we don't all like adversity. Some of us like ease. You know, some of us like comfort. You know, um, I like comfort, you know, in that respect. Um, you know, it, 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 it keeps the gray hairs away, you know, when, it, when it's comfortable in that respect. But it's okay because you won and won convincingly. So... I'll, I'll take the win. It, it was it was a solid, emphatic win. So that was awesome. So we are now 3-0 and at home. We are 4-1 and overall. So that's great. Um, now the next game is Wednesday, November 29th. And this is going to be something else because number one, it's going to be our first real road game. Not not one of those neutral site um, neutral site games where we're actually there. <laughs> no, this is a real road game. We're going to Rio Grande Valley to play UTRGV, and um, we haven't been there in a while. So, but it's a funky place to play, from what I'm told. And this is going to be actually uh, for our Western Athletic Conference game or or WAC um, game. And the stakes get a little bit higher when it's a conference game because of what it means later on. 
in, in, in for March Madness and NCAA tournaments and things of that nature. So we need to be ready for this. You know, we're not going to have the comfort of our fans cheering us on. We're kind of going to be there by our, well, I say we, the players and the coaches will be there all by themselves and things like that. Um, so pray for safe travels and that nature. And so, but yes, that's going to be Wednesday, November 29th for uh, our first WAC conference game. We're going to do two WAC conference games. One, this is the first of two. I mean, the second one in, I want to say November, December 5th, but that's a little later. Um, and then we're back to non-conference play throughout December, um, a little bit longer. So in that respect. So um, that being said, um, I want to remind you all to like and subscribe these videos. Hit that notification bell as well so that you're alerted whenever a new video drops. I intend to do, thing, do these um, ideally uh, at least 48 hours after um, the end of the game is my goal. Uh, I'd like to do them sooner, but my body doesn't do it, doesn't wake up, doesn't organize itself as well. So it usually takes a day or so for me to kind of get focused and know what I'm going to say. So on average, 48 hours. Sometimes I can surprise you to see what happens. But um, do that. So don't forget to leave comments on what you thought about the, the game, what you thought about the video, what did I miss, uh, things of that nature. Love to hear about that. And also, I will I, I usually uh, put things in the description, links in the description, like uh, Paul Coro's article on the game is usually in there. If there's a highlight video um, from YouTube, I'll put that in there. If there's any other interviews um, that's, that's on YouTube or SoundCloud, I list them in the description link. So always check in there for a little extra um goodies that's that's in that spot so uh, now that i've said all the bit of housekeeping my name is crystal you've been watching me talk about the loptastic game and loops up